More than 100,000 homes and businesses in Pennsylvania's Bucks and Montgomery counties rely on a consistent, safe, and affordable supply of water that's produced by the Forest Park Water Treatment Plant. The Forest Park Water Project includes the Delaware River Pumping Station, the Bradshaw Reservoir, the Lake Galena Reservoir, and a 40 million gallons per day treatment facility. This amount of water can fill up 60 Olympic-sized swimming pools each day. Forest Park is jointly owned and operated by the North Penn and North Wales Water Authorities. The facility combines conventional treatment processes with advanced techniques, making it a state-of-the-art water treatment facility. The Forest Park Water Treatment Plant is located on land that was home to the Forest Park Amusement Park in the early to mid-1900s. That is how the water project got its name. The park hosted major attractions and company picnics until closing in 1968. Throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, groundwater shortages resulted in dangerously low water supplies. Mandatory water restrictions during the summer months became a routine part of life for customers of the North Penn and North Wales water authorities. I can recall in the early 80s, uh, for instance, when uh, we were out in the evenings looking for residents who were watering lawns and filling pools and washing cars and neighbors were calling on neighbors because we had such a severe drought that uh, both North Penn and North Wales water authorities had to impose water restrictions upon its customers as did many municipalities in Central Bucks uh, when the wells were drying up. It was really a shortage of water supply. The whole area uh, in the Bucks and Montgomery County regions relied on a 100% groundwater system. And so North Penn and North Wales got together and they essentially thought outside the box quite a bit. And they said, looking down into, in the road into the future, there's going to be a need for a supplemental source of supply, a new source of supply that could accommodate the growth that was expected. And so they got together and said, let's work together and, and together operate uh, a new system, a surface water system. And from that, uh, the Forest Park project was built and that it treats water from Lake Galena and supplemented with water from the Delaware River. In May of 1983, construction of the Delaware River pump station was underway, but opposition to the project caused delays. It would take several years involving litigation, agreements, and court orders before the authorities would be able to begin utilizing the surface water supply in 1989. The situation was such a crisis in the mid-1980s where there just wasn't enough supply to meet the growing demand. There was a need to, in, to construct the, an interim plant, essentially before the final uh, full-scale plant was built. Uh, we had to go ahead with constructing something so that, at least in the short term, the customers could rely on the surface water supply from Lake Galena. That essentially bought some valuable time so that when the final plant uh, was, was built, the full-scale plant in 94, that that five-year period we were able to meet the growing demands. The final full-scale plant was equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including carbon polishing and the use of ozone. During an expansion in 2007, Forest Park water was retrofitted with the most advanced filtration process available called membrane filtration. It did a couple things. It actually increased uh, the purity of the water, if you will, and the quality of the water and the taste of the water by uh, adding the more sophisticated filtration, but it also allowed us to expand the output of the plant uh, to a 40 million gallon a day plant. So it, it, it provided some efficiencies as well as an enhanced water quality. 2014 was a milestone year for Forest Park when Bucks County Water and Sewer Authority began purchasing 10 million gallons of water per day. A 17-mile-long transmission main was extended from the treatment plant in Chalfont to Lower Bucks County. This supplied Bucks County Water and Sewer customers with a reliable supply of safe drinking water from Forest Park. It's been a success story from the beginning. Uh, Forest Park continues to grow, continues to uh, establish itself as the regional water supplier, uh, which was the original vision. So how does it all work? Well, the plant is able to be handled by a single operator uh, around the clock. The operators are of the highest license available in the state for waterworks operation. We've got it set up so that the technology is able to allow the operator to freely move around the plant, do anything 
at different locations in the plant that he can do from the control room. And if there's something that's going on, he'll receive some sort of an alert, whether it be a, an announcement or, or something along those lines. The process of producing drinking water begins at the Delaware River, where untreated or raw water is pumped by the Delaware River pumping station through a two and a half mile transmission main to the Bradshaw Reservoir. The plant operator remotely controls the release of water from the reservoir into a pipe, which travels one mile before spilling into the north branch of the Neshaminy Creek. Water then travels about six and a half miles to Lake Galena. Lake Galena is surrounded by Peace Valley Park and was built in 1970 for flood control and drinking water supply, as well as recreational use. Water diversion flows from the Delaware River are adjusted by Forest Park to control the level of Lake Galena, to ensure a sufficient drinking water supply and to facilitate recreational activities. Gates located in Lake Galena release water through the dam and back into the North Branch Neshaminy Creek where it flows approximately two miles to the North Branch Neshaminy Creek intake. The intake is comprised of an inflatable rubber dam and steel bar racks. The dam creates a water pool that allows water to flow by gravity through the bar rack intake and into the raw water pump station. Excess water flows over the rubber dam to maintain downstream creek flow. In addition to the intake bar racks, Traveling screens capture leaves and debris before water enters the pump station. Most treatment facilities are located on the banks of their primary water source, but Forest Park is unique for this part of the country in that the Delaware River water is diverted to the plant from miles away. As raw water enters the Forest Park water treatment plant, it is pumped to the initial treatment stage of the process. First, a coagulant is added to the water to promote the clumping together of particles such as dirt and organic matter in a process called coagulation. Coagulant-treated water then enters a gentle mixing stage called flocculation, where smaller particle masses combine to form larger visible clumps called flock. The flock-laden water enters sedimentation basins where, with the aid of special inclined plates, the majority of the solids settle to the bottom before the water flows to the next stage. Water exiting the sedimentation basins is called clarified water. Clarified water flows to an advanced microfiltration stage where microscopic particles are filtered out by submerged membranes. Membrane filtration is a more effective barrier than traditional media filters against the passage of microscopic particles, including potentially harmful pathogens. The entire membrane system consists of approximately 45 million hollow tube fibers that remove impurities larger than 0.1 microns, which is smaller than one human blood cell. The surface area of all the membrane fibers combined would cover just over 30 football fields. The filtered water leaving each fiber flows into a common pipe and is pumped to the next stage. Membrane filtration is one of this plant's most notable features and is considered the filtration technology of the future. After water flows through the membrane filters, ozone gas is added to the water. The primary benefit of ozone is its powerful disinfection potential. However, it also destroys taste and odor-causing compounds typically found in surface waters. Because ozone gas is short-lived, it must be electrically generated on-site and applied immediately. The ozonated water gets pumped to granular activated carbon contactors where trace amounts of undesirable organic and chemical compounds are removed by adsorptive and biological mechanisms. This occurs as the water flows through a six foot deep bed of carbon media. In the final treatment stage, a corrosion inhibitor is added and pH is adjusted to prevent water from leaching metals from piping in home plumbing. Chlorine is also added to maintain disinfection throughout each water authority system. Clean sparkling water is collected in the plant's clear well, which is a two million gallon underground reservoir. 
Finished water flows through massive pumps for delivery to each authority's distribution system, comprised of a complex network of piping, pump stations, and storage tanks. Chlorine is added at various points throughout each authority system to ensure clean and safe water. 90% of water supplied to North Penn and North Wales customers is surface water that is treated at Forest Park. The remaining 10% is groundwater. Each day, high quality, affordable water is delivered to more than 100,000 homes and businesses, while also providing fire protection for the surrounding communities. One thing we're very proud of is the great value we're able to provide to our customers. Our average residential customer pays less than a dollar per day for all the water that they need in their household. There's really nothing that anybody buys in their daily experience that costs the same or less and that has an equal or greater value. So it's a great bargain to our customers. It's critical that the required volume of water is supplied every day, even in the event of a prolonged power outage. We have on site diesel engines that generate power that can supply the whole facility and operate the facility at capacity. This backup capability proved itself to be crucial in 2012 when power was lost for days following Hurricane Sandy and the plant continued to operate without interruption. Customers of North Penn and North Wales water authorities never went without running water during that time. So fortunately, we're lucky enough to have uh, wide-ranging, skilled people here that can not only take care of the equipment but respond in case there is a failure very quickly. And that's what, what keeps us being able to provide not only the quality of water around the clock that we do, but the quantity as well. Excellent water quality is assured through operational proficiency and diligent monitoring. Staff continuously monitors water using online instruments and routine process lab analysis. More advanced testing is performed by state certified laboratories. As a result, the water leaving the plant consistently surpasses all state and federal regulatory standards. In 2012, Forest Park Water received the President's Award from the American Waterworks Association's Partnership for Safe Water. This award recognizes the highest level of optimization with excellence in water treatment. Forest Park Water continues to diligently work to maintain this premier status. Water quality is job one. It's the most important thing that our facility does. It's the most important promise that we make to our customers. There should be no doubt in anyone's mind that the water uh, that we produce at this plant is, is safe and of high quality 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All customers receiving Forest Park water can drink with confidence, knowing that the water flowing from their taps is among the best in the country. Forest Park water, clearly the finest.